Also new at 10, El Paso City Council unanimously voted to extend the emergency ordinance, which allows the city to address a humanitarian crisis resulting from mass migration. The action allows the city manager to assign resources to address a migrant crisis. It also allows the city to take action on an emergency ordinance due to a humanitarian security and economic crisis resulting from an increase of migrants coming through El Paso. During the meeting, El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser said the city has been providing assistance and busing to migrants going to other cities in the country. El Paso County Commissioner's Court unanimously voted to appoint Christina Sanchez as county attorney, effective today. I'm so excited to begin this new journey. I thank you for your support. Um, I know I will continue to have that support and I know that I do have those big full shoes to fill, but I know also that please don't doubt that my intentions have always been and will always be with this community. That Such as will serve as county attorney until previous county attorney Joan Bernal's term expires on December 31st. Such as will appear on the November ballot, but remains unopposed since there is no Republican running for that position. If you had plans this 4th of July to pop fireworks into the sky, those plans should be exploding away. El Paso County has voted to ban the sale and the use of certain fireworks due to the dry weather conditions that we've been experiencing here in the border southwest. El Paso County Commissioner's Court unanimously voted to, for the ban uh, to ban the sale and use of rockets with sticks and missiles with fins. These are types of large fireworks you see in the sky. The partial ban does not apply to lower grade fireworks such as firecrackers. The ban will run between June 24th and July 4th. During the meeting, County Judge Ricardo Samaniego said several vendors made a verbal pledge to not sell these types of fireworks, but still needed to be made official. Just a verbal discussion of no sticks and fins at this point is not sufficient. So then the court would have to vote on saying that we're banning sticks and fins and that way uh, they can come back and utilize them and that we haven't made something official. The ban could be lifted if the Texas Forest Service rules drought conditions no longer exist in El Paso or on July 5th, whichever comes first. Doniana County is expected to vote on a similar resolution for fireworks bans tomorrow. And to extra depth on ABC7, we take you on a trip to our sister city. The Feria Juarez 2024 is now bursting with life and entertainment all throughout the month of June. We will show you extra depth on the fun, food, and festivities at the Feria with another edition of People, Places, and Paul. And the storm track weather, Edie's. Look at the